I'm sick of it. Every second person wants to get a divorce. I'm getting divorced, I just got divorced, I'm thinking about divorce. Divorce is becoming like a trend. Is this what we've come to? And yes, there's no denying that divorce is permissible in Islam, but only as the last resort, after exhausting every possible avenue, then divorce is mentioned. And again, there's also no denying that some people need to get divorced ASAP because they're in an extreme, toxic, violent relationship. But this is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is people that are getting divorced over trivial problems. Problems that could have been solved very easily. People that are getting divorced after a week of marriage, after a year. We're still in teething stages, baby stages. People who their adda after divorce is actually longer than their marriage was. What are we coming to? Divorce is not a get out of jail free card. It's not something you threaten your spouse with day and night. My brothers and sisters, marriage is not all rainbows and lollipops. That's just the reality. So get off your phone, get off Facebook, stop looking at other people's glamorous marriage or so it's perceived to be and start worrying and focusing on your own problems. You know, Imam Ahmad, one of the great scholars of Islam, when he was asked after a 30 year marriage, when he was asked, how did you do it? He said, when I was angry, my wife was patient. And when she was angry, I was patient. It's how it works. Do not be shy to seek help. No harm. There's no harm in asking Allah. There's no harm in going to someone. Actually, we are advised to seek an arbitrator. Get someone from your family, someone from her family, or even someone from the community. If you guys are having problems, it's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean you guys are bad people. But seek help. The Prophet of Allah used to bring in an arbitrator when him and his wife would have an issue. This is the process to fix things, to make amends. Allah, Allah guides us again and again in the Quran to fix things, to make peace. Allah says, and if you really want to fix things, then I will fix them for you. But you got to want it. And if my brothers and sisters, after exhausting every avenue, you guys have decided that divorce is the only resort, then to you I say, make it as peaceful as possible. Allah orders us that if you are to divorce, divorce in the best honorable way possible. With love and compassion, not with enmity and hatred and spite and animosity towards each other. I feel like the kids, kids have become like collateral damage when it comes to our divorces. No one cares. It's all about me and how you hurt me. And because you hurt me so much, now I'm going to do everything possible to hurt you back. Is this how we deal with each other? Is this how I'm going to deal with the mother of my children? You be the better man, bro. You give her more than what she deserves. You be a better woman. You be someone that's of honor and you deal with him better than what he dealt with you. When we got married, ah, oh, it was in the masjid and we wanted the imam there and we want the blessings of Allah and it was all cute and dandy. But then when we get divorced, the hell with all of this stuff. No, no, now it's your lawyer versus my lawyer. And I'm going to squeeze you for everything I can. And you're going to try to do the same. What's this? What's this? And then nothing burns me more than this. Right? People will stand in a court and take an oath standing in front of a judge. And they will lie to get full custody of the child. Again, just to spite. And they will say that, you know, this person is a terrible father or a terrible mother. Why are you lying? You know she's a good mum. She was maybe a bad wife, but you know she's a good mum. You're prepared to deprive your children of a mother? Why? To prove a point? Sisters are doing the same. You're depriving your children of a father. You know he's a good dad. But you're prepared to lie out of spite to get full custody so I can prove a point? This is not deen, man. This is not Islam. I swear by Allah, this is not Islam. The Prophet of Allah says this. He who does not show mercy and compassion to others, he will not be shown mercy and compassion by Allah.